Hello, my name is Self Doubt, and I heard you just finish all your YouTube tutorials and your Udemy course. But I bet you're not a programmer. You can't even solve a lead code problem on your own. How do you call yourself a programmer? <laughs> Before we go to Self Doubt, if I may, let me ask you some questions. Are you thinking of giving up with coding? Don't, cause the world needs more programmers. Do you ever feel like you're not learning anything and that nothing sticks? Or do you feel like you haven't moved forward despite being deep in coding for 6 months? Don't panic, I've been there and yes, I've felt all of those frustrations as well. I'm not here to discourage anyone from pursuing coding. What we'll be doing is finding out what traps 95% of self-taught developers and bootcamp goers fell into that made them quit programming so that you, yes you, will have a better chance. Self-doubt always lurks in the dark, attacking from the shadows at the most unexpected time. It is there when you can't find a bug or how to start building a feature or when you're having a hard time solving a problem. But we all have something it fears and that is courage. The first step is to accept that you are doubting yourself. Do not try to resist. Everybody doubts themselves from time to time. We're only human. Even seasoned developers like me doubt myself. I doubt myself, to be honest. As a developer with 5 years of experience, the way I handle it is by listening to that little voice that says I can't do it and just try to prove it wrong. We can conjure or generate motivation from our self-doubt. Even I fall victim to doubts from time to time but never let it stop you. The more times you prove your doubt wrong, the lesser it talks and the more confidence you build. Many fantasize about the goal and not on the grueling work and sacrifice it takes to get there, hoping to a point of inaction. With the rise of social media and apps that just give out dopamine by the seconds without even a thread of hard work, it's not surprising that most people just want results to get that hit of dopamine again. Don't fall for impatience. Programming is hard and it takes time and it's a long road to success. Even now that I'm starting my YouTube career and learning how to edit and generate content that is impactful and valuable is tough and has made me want to look for shortcuts. Thing is, the similarities between these hard endeavors like coding and a career in content creation is that someday our efforts will be rewarded. We just have to be patient and keep moving forward. I forgot which book that said this but from what I can understand and remember is that it is better to fantasize about the steps and work that needs to be done to get to your goal than the goal itself. This way you'll have actionable plans and not be trapped in a feedback loop of fantasizing about the future without doing anything. So trust the process, set up systems that focus on work or coding that needs to be done and not on what you'll get in return, money, prestige. These are all side effects of hard work and if you just keep going at it, you'll get there. In terms of self-doubt, I would just like to say that you can do it. It just takes some time. Believe me, it took me quite a while for my self-doubt voice to lessen its talking. It's still talk from time to time, but it's just another opportunity to prove it wrong. In terms of being impatient, when I was younger, I tend to rush everything and it just hurt me in the long run. Keep on coding, keep on learning and Keep solving algorithm problems, the tougher the better. And always remember every time you accomplish something, no matter how small, you pat yourself in the back, give yourself a kind word, and reward yourself. That is certainly what I do. A cup of coffee or probably an episode of my favorite show. This may sound cliche, but here it goes. All good things are worth waiting for and fighting for. Lastly, I'd like to thank you all for 100 subscribers. My intention is to make videos that help you on your software engineering journey. 
it would be really helpful if you help me as well by giving this video a thumbs up it shows the algorithm that this video doesn't suck that bad <laughs> if you think this was helpful and you've been here quite some time uh yeah consider subscribing thanks